In case of depressurization in flight, it is essential that both pilots have an adequate supply of oxygen to perform the emergency descent procedure, and bring the aircraft to a safe altitude, that allows everyone on board to breathe normally. All pilots must test their oxygen masks before the first flight, and today we are going to review how a correct and complete oxygen mask test is performed on an Airbus A320. In this test, we are going to listen very loudly to the air flowing through the communication system, therefore, the first thing we must do is notify the ground crew to disconnect while we carry out this test, which does not last more than a few seconds. Then, we must verify on the overhead panel that the crew supply push button is in the on position, thereby verifying that oxygen is supplied to the mask. Next, we must check that the speakers are on, and with sufficient volume. In the audio control panel, we must make sure that the reception knob of the interphone is in the output position and with volume, in addition to selecting the interphone radio switch in the interphone position. Only now we are ready to go to the oxygen mask compartment and follow this sequence. Press and hold the reset test button in the direction of the arrow. In doing this, we must verify that the blinker turns yellow for a short period and then turns black again. Without releasing the reset test button, we must press the emergency pressure selector and verify that while we do it, the blink turns yellow as long as we keep it pressed and that the airflow is heard through the speakers. Only now can we release the reset test button. Once we have verified that the reset test button returns to its upper position we verify that the normal 100% selector is in the 100% position. We press the emergency pressure selector again and verify that the blinker does not turn yellow. Let's see a video of the full test. After completing this procedure, we verify that on the door oxygen ECAM page, the message regulator low pressure is not visible. Once the test is complete, we are ready to continue with the cockpit preparation. Remember, keep studying, fly safe, and always follow your airline's SOPs.